Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a chart of your data in Excel. So easy in fact that you can do it with one keystroke. Let me demonstrate. Over here we have a data set with 12 months worth of sales for four regions. Just select one cell inside your data set and the one keystroke that we use to create the chart is the F11 key. F11 creates a default column chart in its own worksheet for your data. Now, of course, this is much too busy, so let's delete this chart. And we don't have to worry. We're not deleting any data, just a picture of our data. So a second approach is to be selective in what you chart. In this case, let's select just three months' worth of sales, select our first region, hold down control while we select our next area and now when we click F11 Excel creates a chart just of the data that we selected ahead of time. This still isn't what we're looking for so let's delete this. What we're really trying to show is progress over time so we would probably be better off to create a subtotal of the information and use that as a chart. You recall from an earlier lesson I demonstrated how you can make a copy of your summary of your subtotals, but you have to select the visible cells only first to be able to create a summary report such as this. So let's try a summary report for the quarterly sales. Again, one cell selected in the data set. F11. It's starting to look better, but really what we want to see is we want to see just the four quarters. We won't worry about the regions, just the four quarters, and we want to see it as a pie chart. And we want that pie chart not in a separate worksheet, but embedded in the uh, worksheet that has our data. So again, let's show you how to do it. It's very easy. Let's delete this. And now remember how we select two different areas. First, we'll select our titles. Second, we'll hold down control while we select the data that we want to graph. F11 gives us a column chart, but it's very easy on the chart toolbar that accompanies the F11 key to change it into a pie chart. Okay, now how do we get this into the worksheet? How do we change it from a separate worksheet and embed it inside our data worksheet? Very easy. Let's use the chart wizard. The chart wizard is great for creating charts, but I also use the chart wizard to perform editing or formatting of my chart. Invoke the wizard, and what we want to do is speed fast forward to the fourth step. The fourth step is the location. So we don't want it in a separate sheet. Rather, we want to embed it inside our quarterly summary sheet. Click Finish, and there we go. We now have our pie chart tracking the uh, parts of the whole that make up the total year and we have used the chart wizard to move it from its separate worksheet some from a separate worksheet to an embedded chart an embedded object inside our data worksheet in a future lesson we'll show you how to perform more formatting on this chart to properly represent the picture that we want to convey we'll see you in the next tips and time savers